Hello. I'd like to show you a little pen that uh, is, isn't from my collection, but I have done a little work on it for a friend of mine who wanted me to get it up and running. And what it is, is the Schaefer Snorkel. And it's always uh, one of those interesting design of pens. It, it's very complex in many ways. And uh, it's a always fascinating pen to see and take apart and work on. It's lots of little moving parts inside and little pieces, and you have to try to remember exactly how they went, they come apart and how they go back together. But uh, I'll, I'll just going to walk you through the pen a bit. What it is is a smallish pen, like the, the, the snorkel, um, in comparison to, say, a Twisby Echo. It's um, roughly the same size, but it's a lot thinner. V vintage pens tend to be of the thinner scale. Uh, in many cases, and it's a screw cap. It's a, there's a dent in the in the cap, but uh, you know that's fine. It's it's just part of the history of the pen, and I'm not going to bother trying to repair that. And uh, you know, just leave it as is. It's not harming the pen in any way. It doesn't it doesn't. Uh, it's just a cosmetic thing. But um, the interesting thing about these pens are the lovely nibs. It's I guess the Triumph style nib. That Schaefer was known for, and it's very, uh, in my opinion, it's one of Schaefer's nicest nibs. That shape, it's really interesting. It almost reminds me of a shark in some ways. It has a plastic feed, and as you turn it over, you can see uh, where the snorkel is, right? And as you turn a knob at the end of the pen, uh, there's a little piston knob here, and as you turn that, what will happen? As you can see, uh, I'm just going to say it like that. You turn the knob, the snorkel comes out, and when you're filling the ink, you put the snorkel in the ink, and you pull back on the piston, and then you push in, and you get a nice, you can hear the sound when you do that. And that and then the ink goes up the snorkel into the, the body of the pen where there's a latex sack. And the latex sack is encased in a metal protective sleeve. And on the outside of the sleeve is a spring that, uh, you know, all has to do with the piston. And when you fill the pen with ink, you turn the knob and the snorkel goes back in to the pen. And... And, it, you know, there's the breather hole, and you can't really see the uh, snorkel when you're writing with the pen. <clears throat> it has a good size uh, section there, uh, and it's textured, uh, so it's not too slippery. Uh, it's a nice size pen, like I was saying. And, uh, it's small, but, uh, you know, compared to, say, the Echo, it's... Uh, you know, it's a smaller pen, of course. Uh, modern pens tend to run towards the large size, and lots of vintage pens are smaller. And uh, some people, you know, they with their the size of their hand, they don't like them that, that much. They find them uncomfortable. They prefer a larger size pen. But I've always liked, you know, smaller pens. They're, it's, uh, you know, when you post it, it's perfectly fine to write with. I haven't inked this up, but I will ink it up and give you a writing sample. Not today, though, but... Uh, Probably in a later video, I'll show you how it writes. Anyway, it's a beautiful little pen, a lot of fun. Uh, the idea behind the snorkel is it's to keep your, uh, your, your nib clean, or also if you have an ink bottle that has just a little bit of ink, you can get right down to the bottom of the, bit of the bottle and get the last few drops. Um, uh, it's kind of an interesting idea. It's almost like a a, a very complicated solution for a problem that really doesn't exist. You know, if you want to keep your nib clean, you just wipe it off. And if you uh, are trying to get um, the, the, the last bit of ink out of your bottle, you know, the, uh, the bottle would be, it, would, it seemed to me it would be simpler to make the bottle have a little divot in the bottom of the, of the bottle that, uh, that you see, say, in Pilot brand ink sometimes. And, uh, but you know, it's, it's a fun pen. It's a piece of history and, uh, all in all a very lovely design.
Anyway, I hope you have a good day. And if you like the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe. Thank you very much.